Hello guys, it is I, Legally Bronze. Welcome back to episode 17 of my FTB Ultimate series. And as you can see, I'm naked because I died in the quarry. Uh, silk touching, uh, rubies, and trying to get some redstone and stuff to... Uh, run through the grinder there because that gets me chrome which i need lots of for the future um but yeah i uh i was silk touching it and then i uh, had to leave my computer for a minute and i thought i hit escape to pause the game and nope i must not have hit it or something and i came back and a zombie had killed me and i got some of my stuff back, but I lost all of my armor, I lost, uh, what is it, lost one of my drills, the drill with the, uh, Fortune 3 on it, but, um, yeah, that, that sucks, I, you know, I did keep my portal gun, and here's some of the ores I managed to get back after dying, and I kept my, uh, torch staff and my bag, which has, uh, what, what does it have in it here? Uh, just a bunch of random pipes and some other crap, a uh, spare portal gun, chunk loader, uh, omni wrench, and yeah, so that sucks, but it's okay because I'm flush with resource, ah, uh, let me get out of F5 here. I'm flush with resources for the most part, so I can rebuild and I've been crafting up most of what uh, I need here. And I've laid out some of it in the tables here. Um, let's go ahead and craft up uh, the rest of it here on camera because I'm sure you guys want to see that. But yeah, this this does suck. I've been spending uh, quite a number of minutes here recrafting everything. But oh, and I also I had 75 levels before I died. That's really the biggest loss for me because now I gotta go kill a bunch of crap again if I want that back. I've, I've been uh, putting off uh, building an enchantment table and uh, enchanting some books probably because uh, I don't really need picks. Or I didn't need picks but now I, I might do that uh, to try to get my fortune enchant back but we'll see. We shall see here. Uh, let's get these Put them in here. Uh, this. Uh, get this like this. Circuit. Bat pack. Lap pack. Crystal. Advanced lap pack. Jet pack. And nano chest plate. Uh, okay, so let's go charge this stuff. And, um, what else can I talk about? Um, I had run the, uh, a quarry. I think I t said last episode that I'd started a, a second quarry. Well, that one finished, and I'd been running a third one, and it got down to, um, a lapis level and, uh, redstone level and stuff, so I don't think I'm over the diamond level yet. I can't really remember what level I was at when I died, but I, uh, I turned it off temporarily. Because uh, once I get the jetpack back, I'm going to go show you my uh, the site of my demise here. And turn the quarry back on. But, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd been collecting, like, all rubies. I was checking that uh, quarry a lot. So we have a ton of ruby dust and uh, regular rubies from a centrifuge. You're uh, grinding down the ore, which gives uh, one ruby and six dust. So, and the red garnet dust, but we don't care about that. And uh, I've been, uh, center, uh, I don't know why I keep trying to say centrifuging here. I've been grinding up, uh, as much uranium as I could get as well. Got a little tungsten to grind later. Let's put my pants back on. There we go. This is not what I was wanting this episode to be about, but... <laughs> And it still won't be. This is just a little detour before we uh, go look at the tree farm. I've done some work over there. Um, 
and uh, I've started construction on the second uh, tier of it. And uh, I don't know, it's it's coming along okay. You guys will see it here in a minute. I wish I had a better way to charge this stuff. I need to upgrade this to an MFSU. I really don't know why I haven't because like this holds a million in the chest plate and the rest of my armor combined holds an additional 300,000. So this uh, buffer here is not, not good enough. But I'm going to drain it dry. I set up some centrifuges here to um, centrifuge uh, a bunch of hydrogen because I've been running the rest of the bauxite I had over there through the electrolyzer here. So to get up, I got another stack of titanium dust to uh, blast over there. Okay, it's like 53% power. That's good enough. So uh, don't forget to hit F. Don't want to fall to my death again. That. and I died right there and yep you can see where I'd been flying around silk touching stuff let's go get these ruby and I guess try to grind for my uh, XP back. Uh, what I could do to get a lot of XP rather quickly is come down here and just break all of the uh, the nickelite there. It gives a uh, decent XP. Break the root or them sapphires as well. Not sure if I'll do that yet. I might. I might not actually turn the uh, turn this back on. Don't know yet. But, uh, yep, died right there in the corner. Came back at my base. Or not. Came back to my death screen. I can see all of my stuff in the corner. Fairly certain the zombie took my armor. I'm not 100% sure. I might have lost some stuff to this, uh. Quartz. Is this quartz? I can't remember. Yeah, might have lost some stuff to that quartz crystal. Not really sure. I uh, get everything valuable here. Ah, screw that redstone. Oh, creepers. Oh, man. Oh, don't die. <coughs> oh, excuse me, that was probably loud. I'm always congested. Uh, anyway, let's get back on track here. Um, to the tree farm. I'm stuck in the ground again and it's run out of dirt currently since I don't really have a system to get dirt over here yet um so what I did might look like a lot but this didn't take me that long to do but what I did was um, I built a little sort of rough uh, layout for the additional tiers here up into the sky because I want five tiers uh, Although I'm going to have to adjust this because I forgot to take into account a maintenance level for between the tiers, which is uh, what this is actually. This is little Stonehenge type thing here is going to be the maintenance level. And I'm going to slot in the next um, uh, farm multi-block, I think right at this level. So it'll hang down a little bit and be, you know, up in the next level there. Um, and then over here, I was cutting into the mountain here, trying to figure out if I wanted to follow the contour of the mountain or just, uh, sort of just tear this down and bring a wall forward to have more room. And this is, this bottom floor is going to be the, uh, biomass, uh, and biofuel creation uh, floor and then a floor above this I think I'm going to have um, a bunch of coke ovens which can turn the uh, wood uh, from wood into charcoal and it'll give me uh, you know it'll just be a charcoal factory and then it'll also give me a lot of uh, creosote oil which I can run boilers off of I'm gonna try to run at least one boiler uh, just on creosote which I think will put out enough uh, power to run everything 
in the building and maybe the tree farms as well. I'm not sure. I haven't crunched the numbers on that. I've just been letting this run and accumulating wood. Uh, we've got two full stacks of, uh, or two full barrels here and, uh, another almost chest. I think this holds 81 stacks. So got like another barrel there basically. And Produces a lot of sand. Good passive sand income. Got a lot of saplings here, too. Oh, got a bunch of stuff left over in here as well. Um, so this is all biomass profit right there. Or biofuel profit. And then the apples uh, will be squeezed. You could turn it into apple juice. And when you put it in a uh, fermenter... Um, with the saplings, it will give you a little bit extra biomass. So uh, that's nice. It also produces mulch when you squeeze the apples. A 40% chance to produce mulch, which if I remember correctly, is also an ingredient. Uh, you can use it in place of fertilizer, which is uh, very nice. Um, I think that's it for updates on what I've done so far. Oh, I added a chunk loader as well, because you got to have that. Um, I've been processing some of the ores from the quarry as well. Made some coal dust because I had to make a bunch of uh, plate or uh, carbon fiber plate for uh, rebuilding all my armor. And I think that's it. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think here real quick. I think that's every single thing that I've done between episodes until now. Um, oh, okay. Nine is too many. That's fine. Put that in the extractor. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. So what I'm going to do now is probably cut here and then go figure out, uh, exactly how I want. Oh, let's go through here. I'm going to cut here and figure out exactly how I want to lay this room out and uh get everything for that and we'll set it all up so uh i'll see you guys in a minute hey guys i am back and i have the room finished um it's also been like four or five days since i recorded the previous clip i got a bad head cold and I just haven't really been able to record, and I was even feeling so crappy, it, it's, it's taken me like four days to make this empty room. But uh, I'm feeling better now, and I am ready to record again here. So let's go down here and take a look. Oh, there we go. Um, here we go. Okay, so... What I wanted was this uh, dome. Well, it's not a dome, but I wanted sort of an angular window here uh, with a lot of skylight because this is this part of the room here is going to be where we process stuff from the tree farm, and this wall is basically just going to be tanks to hold liquid, and also going to have a tank here and a machine. Going to have a machine here, 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 and some more stuff that I haven't. Uh, Quite planned out yet but it'll be uh, you know along this wall here um, but yeah this is the room and uh, I don't really like it but since it's been so many days since my previous upload I'm just gonna go with the way I have it here and I can always redesign it in the future um, but let's go grab what we need to lay out a few items um, first of all we're gonna need the tanks and tanks are simple. They're made out of these iron plates, which you get from the plate bending machine over there, which is under that chest once the Greg tech textures load in, but uh, that doesn't really matter. And we need some tank glass and some tank valves. Oh, wait, no. It's like this, and you need some levers. Okay. Um, and we're going with railcraft tanks, um, mostly because um, these Zycraft tanks, which while very cool looking, 
Um, they hold a bit less liquid than the railcraft tanks uh, per block. Um, up until a point, you can actually make these tanks a bit bigger than the railcraft tanks. Like you can make them like 13 by 13 or something, where the railcraft tanks are only 9 by 9 max size. But um, yeah, no, uh, these tanks, uh, if I remember correctly, it's uh, you can you can have glitches and problems with uh, with them, and it's possible for them to corrupt chunks, if I remember correctly or cause other problems, so that is why we're going with the railcraft tanks, because as far as I know, they don't do that, or even have a chance of doing something like that. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see what else we need here. Uh, I need a squeezer for apples, because we're going to make apple juice, and I need something here that's called an industrial information panel, and we also will need these information panel extenders. Gonna need a bunch of those. Although, for uh, what we're doing at the moment, I only need three of those and one of these. Um, is there anything else here? Oh yeah, I'm also going to need to make a, what's called a, liquid sensor kit, and that's made by a piece of paper, a frequency transmitter, which is cable and a circuit, and a bucket in that configuration. Okay. It's also late at night when I'm recording this, so I might be a little quieter than normal. Okay, now I got some tank blocks, and we will lay it out. It's going to be the apple juice tank here, um, and I'm going to put the squeezer here, and I had plans to set up more uh, in this room in this episode, but I just wanted to rush this episode out because it's been so long. I think it's going to be like a week before this episode ends up going out um, for everyone to see, so sorry about that, guys. One thing to note about the railcraft tanks is all of the data uh, for what's uh, for how much liquid is stored in the tank is in the center bottom block here. So uh, it's a good thing to uh, not put a valve there because you might need to move valves for whatever reason. So uh, I always put them in this configuration around that center block. Um, because if you break that center block, excuse me, like, uh, once you build the tank and it forms the multi-block and you put liquid in there, you're able to break any any number of blocks of the tank, uh, and if you rebuild it, uh, all the liquid will still be in there when you reform the multi-block, but if you break this block, you lose everything. So... Just something to note if any of you that are watching this are actually playing this mod pack. And you have no ex prior experience with it. Oh, I don't want that right there. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna want a valve. Probably right here should be fine. Put one on the top, just in case. Gonna need one on the front here. And yeah, I'll just put one in the, you know, the back and each side, you know, cover all my bases. So, multi-block is formed, this tank holds 2.4 million uh, units, or uh, 2,400 buckets. 
Gonna, gonna have a lot of apple juice in there, but we'll be using it fast because I plan to pipe it into the uh, the blocks that are gonna go there. Um, but that'll be done way later, not in this episode. And so now for this here, industrial information panels, and what you do with this is, um, actually I can't set that up yet because I don't have any liquid in this tank. Let's give this block some power, first of all, and go get some apples real quick as well. Heard a zombie. Nah, I don't need to kill him. I'll leave him alone. Okay, I have a little uh, area down here, hollowed out already, to set up the power. Get my conduit here. Tesseract. Gonna connect that to the Cori power for now because we're producing quite a surplus, so that won't affect any Cori's we have running. And now we just put the apples in, and it should start squeezing. What the? Um. Oh wait, um, receive power. Okay, the boiler might not actually be lo chunk loaded. Maybe that's the problem. Is it not chunk loaded? I thought it was, hold on. That's a cool feature of the chunk loader, by the way. It shows you what all is loaded in. Uh, oh, it looks like it's loaded in, hold on. Yeah, it it looks like it is, but I'll move the uh, chunk loader just oh, just in case. Or I could have just extended the range that it loads, but I don't want to bump that up to 25 chunks. Don't need to load that many. Okay, let's see if that fixes that issue. Why is this not working? Oh, hold on. I think I know why. Is it, do I have to really set that to pull out energy? I thought it auto outputted. Okay, I did. Uh, I'm too used to playing with the newer, uh, newer, um, what do you call it? Thermal expansion these days. But, uh, you know, we got it fixed. That's that's what's important here. Let's uh, do, turn that to output and put a lever under here. Okay, so apple juice going in the tank. And now what we can do with the sensor kit is shift click on the tank. Then we go over here to the information panel and uh, the... Uh, what is that? The, the sensor kit turns into a card, and we stick this in here. And this is going to be apple juice. Apple juice, okay. And what we're going to need is a lever on this block. Um, I don't know if it works on every block, but yeah, okay, you need it just on that block. Apple juice, and it tells you all the information about this tank. So, which I think is pretty sweet. So, yep, apple juice, how much we have, how much is free, total capacity, and the percentage of fill. So, that's pretty nice. I plan to have another tank here um, for biomass, then one for biofuel over here, and then I was thinking of putting uh, two screens next to the tanks here and here and if I pull up F9 yeah all fits inside chunks neatly nothing crossing boundaries which is good because I don't want any corruption issues if I can avoid it I've seen way too many things happen on servers in the past that uh, destroyed stuff um, anyway though 
let's uh, put a few more apples in here. Let's go get a bunch of stacks, fill it all the way up. Ah, this has been running good. I've been letting it run a little bit while I've been sick and uh, got even more wood. I think I've filled up another two barrels and half this chest or so and uh, got a barrel full of apples now and saplings and another half a barrel of saplings here and just it's it's going good you know once I get the other four uh, farms in place you know we'll be able to sit here and watch it uh, all running at once and be able to see it uh, pulling out all the items and that'll uh, that will you know come out and filter into the facility here and I, I think it's gonna look great I'll be able to look up and see the other levels and things happening well, maybe not I don't know it's all probably gonna be hooked up to the AE so you won't really be able to see anything happening but I'll know it's happening that's good enough and yep we're up to 16 and a half buckets uh, another important thing about the squeezer is that we get mulch, which will be used as a uh, ingredient for um, uh, creating biomass. Because let's see, here we go. Um, yeah, it'll be a secondary ingredient in the fermenter instead of um, having to use the fertilizer we have. Because if I remember correctly, the mulch uh, lasts longer in the fermenter. Uh, if the wiki is correct, which hopefully it is. Um, not that we really need to use the mulch, because uh, we have uh, enough fertilizer to last us forever, I think. But, you know, it's it's just a good, uh, nice little bonus. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have two squeezers here. and Or not squeezers, excuse me, two fermenters. And one's going to be specifically run off the mulch and the apple juice. Unless I'm just producing so many apples that I can run both of them. But, I don't know, we'll see. I, I'm not really sure if that's possible with what we're doing. Um, anyway, though, uh, that's going to be all for this episode, guys. Let's get the window in the shot here and everything we did. Um, next episode, going to uh, install the... Uh, biomass tank there and the fermenters uh, in those slots behind me and um, also uh, set up a possibly an AE system to start importing things into these machines so I don't have to do it by hand but uh, we'll see though might not end up panning out exactly like that but uh, anyway thank you for watching guys and I will see you next time